What up, tubers? JT here. And, um, I love today. You might be asking, why do I love today? Uh, it's about, hang on. It's about 10.48 a.m. And I'm still here in the studio. I'm not at school right now. Late start. What I said was late start. Best day ever. Or I say, I don't remember. Um. So I've got a tutorial on how to create your own logo. Uh, using a graphics tablet. Um, yeah. So. Let's get back in. I've seen about 30 seconds. <laughs> Hey guys, um, today is a Photoshop tutorial, my favorite. So we're gonna go file new, file loaded Photoshop. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select film and video, ideal for widescreen, not pal though. So just make sure it's transparent. You can make it a and just save it. So the first thing now I'm using a graphics tablet, so Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is my, I'm moving my toolbar out to kind of the center so you can see it. You don't need to move it to where I just did. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the paint brush, and we're going to make sure it's black, so... Move this back to the side. Now, if you're wondering how I control the mouse, just message me. I will. Yeah, no. Now we're going to use our paint bucket tool. Fill it in. Now use your text tool. Type in your studio name or whatever you want to put on your logo. I'm just going to go and type it in. Now we're going to use a smudge tool. If you don't have the smudge tool, you can use other things. Okay. Oh, because I'm on the typing layer. Now just take your tool. And just go to town. Give it that sharp edge and just kind of give it a 
Make it look like a three-year-old happened to it. Just really hash into it. So I had to change how... Uh, now this works really good if you have a graphics tablet, like I do. And you can really get into this and get in there. So we got here a nice little border. For there, I'm going to use my eraser tool. Now, my graphics tablet has this thing that it will switch between the two. If I just easily flip my pen around. So I'm just going to erase a few spots in the color. Those are going to be with the smudge tool. Again. Smudge it up, make it look like they're natural. Make them look natural, don't make them look like you purposely did that. Just make them look like they're all natural. So now there is your custom design logo that you can use in all of your videos. Now you don't have to do a circle and do what we did. You could play around with Photoshop a little bit guys. Be creative. Be your individual. This is just kind of what I do. For the logo for the show. Remember if I can do it, you can do it. This is Photoshop CS3. We just did this in. Make sure you save it and wherever you are going to use it. So I have one saved, so I'm not going to, but see you guys later.